Kays and Hayes, it's Leopardess and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be discussing my best shampoos for locks. So before we begin, please remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Also follow me on Instagram at Leopardess underscore. I'm actually really excited because I feel like it's been a really long time since I've done an informative video. Let me start by saying this. I have tried many shampoos over my three year lock journey. And there's been periods when I love some more than others and then periods where I was just like, you know what, this really isn't it for me. So if you see yourself with a shampoo that you used to use a lot and you decide you no longer like it, that's okay. I'm gonna give you my list. My list is very shocking, very surprising, even for me myself, because some of these shampoos I was like totally against when I was like loose natural. And now like I absolutely love them. Right? So I'm gonna start from the bottom to my top. And if you guys currently watch my video, then you probably already know what my top shampoo is, but the second one may surprise you. So coming in at number five is the Argan Oil Moroccan Oil Shampoo. So the reason why this is number five is because it's not my go-to at all, but if I have it, I will use it. So when I first had my locks, I used to ask questions because you know, that's what you do. You see somebody with locks, you ask questions. Even now, people come up to me and they ask me questions about my locks and I'm very happy and very excited to answer those questions. So I asked her what shampoo she used and she told me she used the Argan Oil Moroccan shampoo. And I was like, that's interesting. You know what I mean? Cause I didn't like that shampoo as a loose natural. I don't love it as someone who has locks now but I don't think it's bad. What I what I think though about this shampoo is that it does provide a tad bit of moisture in your hair. So if you feel like your hair is really, really dry, I feel like this shampoo does help. It doesn't give me like a nice clean wash. I kind of prefer more of a stripping wash than a, um, than a moisturized wash, but it depends on where I am. Like for example, right now I'm in Florida, but if I wasn't in Florida and my hair felt brittle, I might have been like, you know what, let me go to the Argan Oil Moroccan Shampoo. That's gonna give me, you know, a little bit of moisture in my hair. It's not gonna take out too much. So that's why it's still on the list. It really depends on where you are, your environment, and how you're feeling. But I think it's not bad. Coming in at number four is the Neutrogena Anti-Residue Shampoo. So if you guys are new to the, to the lock world, then you know that this shampoo is very, very popular. This, when I first started my lock journey, I would say like around the one and a half year mark, I used a Neutrogena anti-residue shampoo to help cleanse my hair when I felt like I had buildup or just stuff or muck that I was trying to get in my hair. And I feel like anti, I feel like the anti-residue shampoo kind of coincides with, kind of coincides with the lower shampoos that I have on my list. I feel like they work good together. Like for example, um, maybe after you done, maybe after you did something like the Argan Oil Moroccan shampoo, and next week you like, you know what? I don't feel like I feel like there's things in my hair. You might want to use like the Neutrogena Anti Residue Shampoo to get out any extra residue. So that's why it's number four on my list. It's really good. It does help get residue out. Is it my favorite now? No, but I think it's definitely one of the things to have on hand because sometimes you just need it. You know what I mean? So I rate that pretty high. Good enough to make the list in my opinion. I would still use it. I have still used it. I have not bought a new bottle of it since my old journey, but like when people tell me like they have certain issues with the hair, I tell them go ahead and try the anti-residue shampoo just to help get some things out. So. I would definitely say it's worth a try, but remember that this shampoo is just to help take things out. It's not really to wash your hair, so you, you can use another shampoo after it. Just a little food for thought, if I'm remembering correctly. So coming in, number third on my list is Casile Soap. So, whew, like I have an interesting relationship with Casile Soap, so when I first started my lock journey, I use Casil soap all the time. Casil soap was the rave. But now that I'm more now that I'm further in my lock journey, I don't really use Casil soap. What I have done is switch Casil soap to more of my body care than my hair care. I would rather not use Casil soap in my hair because sometimes depending on there's depending on certain factors, um sometimes Casil soap can leave a kind of a build up. I'm going to um insert like a little video or something in here that basically explains why this happens. 
So I went to the Dr. Broner's website to see exactly what the reason was that causes this buildup. So it says if you're still in the transition period, this might be product buildup. To help with this, try using a natural Bristol brush. So obviously for that, for us, that's not an option. If you have hard water, it could be that the soap is reacting with minerals in your water and leaving a waxy film on your hair. In this case, you can use a water softening shower head or switch to using our bar soap, which seems to perform better in hard water conditions. So when I'm washing my hair up north, I believe that um, my water is much softer, but when I'm down south, the water is a little bit harder. So what I could do is buy a softening um, shower head, but I'm not going to. But that is the main reason why I don't use Casil soap when I'm down here in Florida. Okay. But I definitely think that it's still worth it. I definitely think that this shampoo deserves to be number three on the list. Just because I don't use it anymore doesn't mean that it's bad. I use it on my face. I use it on my skin. <sighs> Casil soap on the face, that's it. It's honestly it. So it's ranked pretty high. I used it for most of my lock journey and I was completely fine. It's just something that I kind of grew out of and something where I was just like, you know what? You know, it's time for a change. So now, now, I talked so much shit about this second shampoo. Like, like I hated this shampoo as a loose natural. I hated it, I hated it, I hated it. Sometimes my mom would use it to wash my hair when I was young. I hated this shampoo. But as someone with locks now, as someone who's currently in Florida vacationing, this shampoo has helped, has helped, you listening, so much. And I would actually put it up there with my number one. And that shampoo, if you guys watch my videos, you probably know the shampoo I'd be talking crap about, is V05. Yeah. So let me tell you my, my little history with VO5. So obviously, I don't know, when I was a loose natural, VO5 just didn't work well in my hair. It felt like my hair was crunchy after, you know what I mean? But when you have locks, it's different. Like it just, it just feels right. So one thing I will say is that if you do use VO5, please be careful the type of VO5 shampoo that you pick up. You don't want to pick up a creamy formula or a condition or a formula that has conditioner in it. Be very careful. Read it. Read the back. Make sure there's no sort of cream. Make sure it's the one that gave my loose natural hair a crunch. <laughs> but I'm down in Florida and my number one shampoo, no stores are here that sell it. And it's not that deep. I'm not going to order it. It's like, okay, this is an opportunity to try something else. Of course, my mom has some VO5 in her cabinet. And I said, you know what? I read it. I made sure it wasn't the creamy one because she had the creamy one too. When I tell you I washed my hair with it and it felt so good, I didn't have any buildup, no nothing. It felt so good. Like it just helped wash the sweat and just, it just really felt good. My hair felt good. It felt clean. It felt it refreshed all for the price of a dollar. Okay, so I definitely... I definitely was so surprised by this VO5, but make sure you guys use the right one. Make sure you guys don't use the one with all the creams and stuff in it because you will regret it. But VO5, you surprised me. You surprised me. You surprised me. But definitely when I'm in Florida or a place that's really hot, a nice wash with a VO5. So now coming in at number one, at number one, is my Trader Joe's Tea Tree Shampoo. I absolutely love this shampoo. I love it. I completely love it. It's simple. I think it's like $2 at Trader Joe's and it gets the job done. It leaves a nice tingly feeling, a nice wash, no buildup. You hear that? No buildup, no white stuff in my hair. Simple, easy, and it really, the way it washes kind of remind me of like the plain VO5, but I still prefer it above the VO5. I still prefer it, and that's okay. That's okay because like I said, through your lock journey, you're gonna find different shampoos that you like more than the other. It's just about time. It's just about growth. It's just about trying different things. But luckily with lock journeys, it's not too expensive. But yeah, those are my top five shampoos. Number one, Trader Joe's. Number two, VO5. 
absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Casio Soap, Neutrogena Anti-Residue, and the Argan Moroccan Oil, I would say is definitely up there in my list of shampoos. Now, obviously, we all have different hair types. We all have different hair, and our, and our hair reacts to different things. So what I want you guys to do is in the comments below, let me know what your favorite shampoo is. Please make sure you drop your favorite shampoo. You can just be like, meal five and go about your business but you know you might be helping someone who may not find something within my list that they like and it's kind of nice to create that community of sharing and seeing what other people like so let me know in the comments below i appreciate you guys so much you guys thank you guys so much for watching bye <laughs>